It is the reason chocolate is so widely seen as a token and expression of love, given as a gift to a sweetheart or a treat to oneself. It is the reason chocolate is the most frequently craved food worldwide. Chemistry, yes, because of the chemicals in chocolate that affect the brain. Caffeine, a stimulant. Theobromine, a mood lifter. Tryptophan, which helps the brain make serotonin, a happiness chemical. But also because of the chemistry behind this. The smooth shine and rich texture of chocolate, especially dark chocolate. The way it melts in your mouth and tastes on your tongue. In fact, dark chocolate is a great way to look at several basic chemistry concepts, starting with temperature, heat reactions, and melting point. So today we're going to be melting some chocolate. Julie Yu is a scientist at the Exploratorium in San Francisco who's funded by the National Science Foundation. Chocolate is composed of cocoa solids, cocoa butter, and some sugar. And at room temperature, it's in a solid form. The melting point of a substance is the temperature at which it experiences a change. So it'll turn from a solid to a liquid. A change from one common state of matter to another. Why does chocolate's melting point matter to chocolate lovers? One of the key reasons chocolate tastes so good to us is, in fact, its melting point. Our body temperature is 98.6 degrees, and the melting point of chocolate is somewhere around 10 degrees lower than that. And if you ever held a chocolate bar in your hand for too long, you probably experienced that it melted in your hand. And that chocolate melts even faster in your mouth, which, unless you've been drinking something cold or out in the cold with your mouth open, is usually between 75 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, pretty close to the melting point of chocolate. As it reaches its melting point in the high 80 degrees Fahrenheit, you can see that it's turning into this nice, viscous liquid. In chemistry, how viscous a liquid is, its viscosity, is a measure of a fluid's thickness and how slowly it flows. As dark chocolate softens in your mouth, it starts to flow over your tongue, a pleasurable sensation known in the food industry as mouthfeel. As it melts, it moves over hundreds of taste buds, and that is key to our perception of chocolate's taste. More than 1,500 flavor components have been identified in chocolate, making it one of the most complex chemical mixtures known. The components of chocolate are cocoa solids, cocoa butter, and sugar. There's actually no water in there. It's cocoa butter as a liquid, not water. Heat isn't just a factor in making chocolate, solid or liquid. It is a major factor in making chocolate itself from cocoa beans, seeds of the cacao tree that are fermented, dried, and roasted, all processes that involve heat or heated air. Roasted beans are ground up, filtered, mashed, and pressed into a cocoa butter mix, usually in giant machines, which also produce heat. Through mechanical friction, rubbing the chocolate together, it gets finer and finer so that the consistency is something that's smooth in our mouths and not grainy. What happens next is the reverse of chocolate melting in our mouths. The smooth, liquefied cocoa butter mix will harden into chocolate as it cools, going from a liquid state to a solid state. When chocolate hardens, what's really happening is the cocoa butter that's present is solidifying and the fat molecules that are inside the cocoa butter form a crystalline structure. But chocolate that cools and hardens too fast forms seed crystal structures that, like most structures built in a hurry, are substandard disordered. You can think about a pile of Legos that you collect into a pile, and if you do it really quickly, they'll be every which way, and that's kind of representative of a loose crystalline structure. Result? Chocolate that is dull, blotchy, soft. What works better? To actually join the Legos one by one into a tighter, packed crystal structure which chocolate makers do in a process called tempering, carefully controlling the temperature and rate at which the liquid chocolate cools so that what are called beta or form 5 seed crystals form in a tight crystalline structure. And it gives us that nice consistency and shine that we like. Or love. <laughs>